Welcome to another session of the TouchMix training series. Today we're going to go over a simple but vitally important function of your mixer, how to update the firmware. Now this is a relatively simple process, but we're going to show you what it looks like just in case you were wondering. If you've already registered your mixer, you should receive an email every time we release a new firmware. And you can always visit the TouchMix page on the QC website for further information. Now the first step, of course, is to download the new firmware update from the website. If you are a PC user, you should be able to just double-click the zipped file that contains a compressed file that ends in tar.gz. If you're updating a TouchMix 30 Pro, this is going to be a .install file, not a tar.gz file. The process will remain the same, however. If you're a Mac user, then your Safari browser may automatically attempt to unzip that compressed file as well. To prevent this, you'll need to go to your Safari Preferences, choose the General tab, and deselect the box at the bottom that says Open Safe Files After Downloading. The file will download to your Downloads folder. Move it onto your desktop, and then double-click it to open and extract the tar.gz or the .install file. If you're still having trouble, you may need to change a setting in the Archive Utility. Double-click the drive for your computer system and go to System, Library, and go to Core Services. Find and open the Archive Utility. In the menu screen, select Archive Utility and choose Preferences, and then uncheck Keep Expanding if possible. Then proceed to unpack the file as described earlier. For the TouchMix 30.install file, changing this archive utility won't be necessary, as this is not a compressed file like tar.gz. So you can go ahead and skip this step. Once you're done with the process, you can change all these settings back if you so desire. For both PC and Mac users, once you have a tar.gz file or a .install file for the TouchMix 30, put it in the root directory of the USB storage device. This can be a hard drive or a thumb drive, just as long as it's formatted with the FAT32 file system. Now, if you are using software version 1.1 or higher on a TouchMix 30 Pro, or version 3.0 or higher on a TouchMix 8 or 16, you can take advantage of the direct download feature, which doesn't require a computer at all. With this feature, the TouchMix uses an internet connection to essentially call home and check for any available firmware updates. If an update is available, you'll see a message appear with some information about the update, and you'll have the option to either dismiss the message or proceed with the update. If you choose to proceed, you'll want to have your properly formatted USB storage device connected to the mixer already. It's also a good idea to make sure the mixer is connected to a stable internet connection. With a TouchMix 30 Pro, the mixer can be connected to a router directly through the RJ45 connection on the back. But with the TouchMix 8 and 16, a USB to Ethernet adapter is required for a hardwired connection. Or you can use the supply dongle to connect to your wireless router. To initiate the download, press the Menu button, and then press Mixer Setup, and then press Download Upgrade. A message will appear that says Contacting Server. If an update is available, you'll be prompted to accept the download to begin the process. Once the download is complete, a download successful message will appear, indicating that the firmware has been saved to the USB storage device and the mixer can be updated. This is not, however, an indication that the mixer has been updated. You've simply bypassed the step in which you've downloaded the file to a computer before transferring it to the USB storage device. With either method, once the firmware file has been successfully loaded onto a USB storage device, well, you can move on. Insert this device into one of the USB ports on the back of the TouchMix, and then stop. Ask yourself a couple questions. For instance, are you about to start a gig? Yes? Well, then maybe now is not the best time to upgrade your firmware. Don't do it. This process will take a little while, so you have to make sure you have enough downtime to finish the upgrade. Ask yourself another question. Do you want to save the current settings on your mixer? If so, be sure to save a new scene of your current setup so that you can recall it after the update. The update will reset all of your channel levels, labels, EQ, etc., but all of your scenes and presets will remain intact. Once you're sure you're ready to update, press the Menu button, press Mixer Setup, and then Upgrade. The upgrade process cannot be interrupted and the device should not be unplugged until it's complete. 
If you mess this up, the touch mix will explode. Wait, no, it won't explode. No, it won't. The touch mix is designed to recover perfectly fine if it gets interrupted, but don't go testing that out. Don't be that guy. Nobody likes that guy. No, that's the same guy who puts the Mentos in the Coke bottle. Just, I hate that guy. Everybody hates that guy. Just don't interrupt it, all right? Now, confirm one final time that you do want to do this. First, you'll see a loading screen. It may take up to 30 or 45 seconds to complete. Wow, that was faster than I thought. Settle down, that's just loading the upgrader application. Once the upgrader opens, you'll see this screen. Any available TouchMix upgrades will be listed under your USB devices here. If you want to back out, simply press the exit button. Otherwise, press updates and the process will begin. This can take up to 10 minutes and it may look like it's not doing anything at times, but simply be patient. At the end of the process, a dialog box will tell you the upgrade was successful. Simply press OK and the software upgrader will close and the mixer will reboot. And that's it. Your TouchMix is ready to go with all of the latest features. Remember that updating your firmware is actually quite easy, but knowing what to expect really goes a long way. Thanks for watching.